What's going on everybody? It's Nathan. It's been a while since I've made a video updating you guys as far as what's going on in my life and what's going on with my dad and everything in between. It's been quite a while actually. I think the last video that I made in regards to my father's situation was actually back when uh, he was just finished the surgery, I believe, and we had found out that they were able to remove the cancer in his lower right lobe of his lung. Since then, time has passed, and here we are today, 2019. It's actually about to be his birthday. October 28th is my dad's birthday. Um, he was doing really well. I was living in New York City, and I knew nothing but that, that the cancer was you know, still in remission. And as far as I knew, everything was fine. Come to find out, flash forward, end of uh, June, early July, I find out that not only had the cancer returned, the cancer had also spread to other areas of his lymph nodes. Not only that, he also went through six weeks of chemo and six weeks of radiation, all while not knowing that this was going on. I understand the reasoning was, you know, I'm very irrational when it comes to my father. He is the most single-handedly important person in my entire life. And this actually touches on a video that I made where I actually had the realization as to what actually is going on. And I'll actually link that video up in the uh, card section above and in the description box below. And it, it comes in waves, honestly. There are moments where I don't feel anything. There are moments when I'm just overwhelmed with every possible fear and irrational thought. And then there are moments where I have to be the irrationally rational son and think that, you know, things can defy nature and God. And there's a, a very hard time. I have a very hard time balancing those roles sometimes. So at this point in time, I just wanted to touch base basically on behalf of where I left off in that realization video. I let you guys know that he was doing the uh, treatments every other week. And today actually what would have been one of the treatments. And I say would have been because this is where the update comes in. So, so the actual name of the infusion that my father is getting is called Dervolumab, I do believe. The brand name in the United States is called Infinzi and it's also in Canada. This infusion is also used to treat urinary and bladder cancer as well as lung cancer. Now there are a few of side effects. This is a very new drug and form of, I guess, chemo therapy. It's an alternative considering he already did the six weeks of chemo and the six weeks of full radiation. It's too much for him to go through again. And we did see positive results up until about a month ago. The tumors were shrinking. They had not spread. The cancer had not advanced. He put on weight. He was looking at feeling good. There were days where obviously he did not feel well, uh, just as, as any human being doesn't have to be because of cancer or anything like that, but just in general. And then last month we went for the infusion. Every other Thursday we go. And one of the side effects, it's really hard for us to figure out which is an actual side effect from the infusions and what is actually because of the lung cancer and the emphysema and COPD. Because a lot of the side effects include shortness of breath, trouble breathing, coughing, wheezing, having phlegm, all things that are an everyday thing for my father. 
Well, we ran across one that's not, and that would be the thyroid level. Uh, the, the numbers, from my understanding, they stop counting at 100. So after 100, there really is no number. And the infusions actually can attack your thyroid and liver. And that is what's happening right now with my father. So a full month, he has not received the treatments because the levels are too high. Prior to each infusion, they do blood work just to make sure that there are no abnormal levels of any kind. And as I said two weeks ago, they saw that the thyroid numbers were over 100. Today, they were 92. The numbers are going down, so that is a plus, but we don't really know how fast. Being that they stopped counting at 100, we don't know if that was 180 before and it dropped to 92, or if it was 100 and it dropped to 92. They will not continue the treatments if his thyroid does not get better. They put him on Synthroid, which is a medication that he takes once a day. It's 0.5 milligrams and it is supposed to help with alleviating that issue to allow them to continue these treatments. It's a little discouraging and it's definitely a setback because time is time waits for nobody and there are no other options. There's no option for surgery. There's no furthering any chemo or radiation. There really is nothing but the treatments and infusions that he's doing bi-weekly. And if they cannot do that, unfortunately, there is nothing else that they can do at this time. That's where we are right now. Two weeks from today, they're going to draw more blood, see if the thyroid levels have dropped low enough for them to continue treatment. I don't know what number the levels have to be before it's safe for them to continue treatment, but I'm gonna go with it's probably a lot lower than 92, where it's at right now. I am just going to ask that you guys continue to pray and keep him in your thoughts and prayers. And know that your thoughts, prayers, well wishes, messages, texts, calls, just dropping by, they really do help and they mean so much to not only my father, but to me as well. Because although I'm not the one going through this personally, I'm watching the most important person in my life battle and conquer something that is unfathomable for me. So with that being said, please, please continue to keep him in your thoughts and prayers. Pray that his thyroid levels continue to drop and they're able to continue the infusion treatments every other week and that he just overall continues to enjoy a well, full, a very full quality and quantity of life. I love you guys. Thanks so much.